Give it up for Eric. So I've spent four years of my life on the basketball court as a player coach and having refereed over 3,000 basketball games. Now, having spent that much time on the hardwood, it allows you to navigate the life of hard knocks. Whether it's a job interview, first date, or speaking here at Ignite, everything is sales. It doesn't matter if you're selling a call on the courts or selling yourself in courts. It's all about persuasion. Now, the best advice I ever got on persuasion was from a state final official. He said, Eric, watch your mojo. The vibe that you're giving out. First impressions are formed in as little as a tenth of a second quicker than a Kardashian wedding. <laughs> now, part of the vibe is knowing they ain't gotta be perfect. So when I wore the stripes, I thought everything was black and white. It was all wrong or all right. But as we now know, there are more than 50 shades of gray. <laughs> so, in the words of my eight-year-old son, spaghetti happens. The grayness of life, we can't let it stick. It could be a stain on your shirt, snow at Wrigley on opening day, or simply sitting in our lovely, Chicago traffic. We can't let things stick. Now, I had a spaghetti moment very early in my career. Michael Jordan actually came to see me rough a game because his son was playing. But I got so nervous, I made one of the worst calls ever on his kid. <laughs> my partner saw how flushed I became. She gave me a timeout. She said, Eric, spaghetti happens. Don't let it stick. I took her advice moved on, and even got Michael's autograph. Whoa. Now, this advice works in make-believe, too. So my son's favorite game is Super Mario Brothers, and spaghetti happens to Mario Luigi all the time. <laughs> but they know the trick, and help me out. They just keep moving, don't think about it, and don't let things stick! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Einstein, he's best known for relativity, but he agrees, too, when he says that a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Mistakes are part of our growth and learning in life. And even the best of the best make mistakes. And you remember the NFC Championship game from last year? Yeah. Oh yeah. Three refs missed that call. Now Saints fans, here in Chicago, we feel your pain. We have the double doink. <laughs> but at least our mistakes, they don't get replayed on social media. That blunder was replayed well over a million times. To err is human. It's better to judge people on their best moments, not their worst. So I used to have a constant need to be right. I think that's one of the reasons why I got the roughing to begin with. <laughs> but have you ever noticed that it's very difficult to change someone else's mind? I'll give you an example. <laughs> Put two people in a room together that don't agree. And watch each of them try and change the other person's mind. It's not going to happen. You're going to get better fireworks here than you will at Navy Pier. <laughs> now, on close calls, I used to push on others why I was right. Because I was super ref. But an interesting happened. I, a thing happened. I noticed that the more I pushed on others, the more they pushed back on me. And I realized that I can get much farther with people when I saw their point of view, validated their opinion and saw what they saw. And because of that, the more respect I gave, the more respect I received. But there are some times you gotta lay the smack down. <laughs> Let's face it, there are people that we work with, interact with, and deal with, where quite simply, they're not gonna like us, and we're not gonna like them. Can you smell what I'm cooking? <laughs> now, imagine being in a room with these people. So as an official, I've been yelled at, screamed at, called every name in the book, gotten death threats, needed police escorts, and that's just the Catholic League. <laughs> <laughs> now, it all starts with one person. So if you ever watch a game during warm-ups, us officials will congregate about around half court, and we're gonna try and find that one troublemaker that's gonna cause problems. It's best to find the person set expectations early. Now, if none of that works, Fight by not fighting. So officials, we can switch sides of the court when a coach won't shut up. But in life, it's best to pick your battles 
buy some video plugs. So hopefully some of the things I talked about here tonight you can use in your life of hard knocks. Just remember when spaghetti happens, always remember to trust yourself and you're going to make the right call. Thank you so much.